Just figured I'd kind of update you guys on what's going on with my modeling habits. Um, this is an Atherm Blue Box GP60 that I got for a real nice price uh, on eBay. And uh, it's already got, or I put a decoder in it and all that. And it runs uh, pretty decently. Went ahead and replaced the um, wheels. So, the, you know, they're the atherm replacement nickel silver wheels or whatever instead of the iron ones or whatever that these originally came with uh it does have a headlight as you can see it's not it's not that great right now i need to get a different led that i can just kind of bend to my will and uh get get in there how i want it um but the rear headlight is pretty dead on so that one's good at, at least um, so yeah, it's an okay model, um, definitely a lot cheaper than the other options for an NS GP60, so, uh, very happy with this one, and, uh, I'll show you some of the other stuff I'm working on. A few days ago, my friend shot me a text and, uh, said, hey, I just got a new 3D printer, uh, send me a link from Thingiverse for me to print. And I sent him this, uh, and told him what files not to print, and, uh, a few days later, he popped by and gave me the, uh, 3D prints to build this thing. <laughs> um, overall, it's pretty decent. Um, the print quality, he admits that he probably didn't use the uh, best settings for it, so you can see, you know, like, defects in it here and there, but for the most part pretty darn solid for being a 3d printed car um the there was gaps between the floor and the side oh actually you can kind of see a little gap right there um it's just unevenness from the print right um so i went ahead and used some black electrical tapes just kind of hide that from the bottom all black now so you can't really tell that there were gaps uh, just from glancing at it went ahead and also put a weight in there as well uh, and of course there were four loads that uh, were available for this thing so I told him go ahead and print out the, uh, the coal one and it fits in there pretty decently it rolls nice uh, surprisingly the trucks really surprised me. Those are 3D printed, and uh, the wheels I have for them went in perfectly fine. And yeah, the coupler pockets are the correct height and all that, so everything about it lines up. Um, probably not going to have him print any more of these, but it is super cool to just have a 3D printed rail car, and uh, this thing will see runtime. It is it's going to be treated like a normal like one of my normal cars it's it, it's going to get some hours on it and uh, i'm very excited to see how it ages i guess uh that and if someone just sees it on like you know a 40 35 car train or whatever just go what is that you know um it's just cool to have one uh no regrets wonderful car for what it is um and yeah, and I got one more thing for you guys. So, I don't have the shell with me right now, but this is a Proto 2000 PRR uh, Alco FA2. And uh, this one was my dad's. And years ago, um, pulled a box out of my parents' closet. And uh, this guy was one of the items that was in it. Ran the crap out of it. Abused it, really. Oh, the internals all got freaking mangled well no not mangled but like you know it had grease that wasn't meant for it all that stuff and it 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 just kind of got gross then it just kind of stopped working and i was using it so much that the original atherm or proto axles it's all the same that the original axles all just kind of failed simultaneously and then it got put in a box and sat for like a year and a half basically um, the other day, I remembered it out of nowhere, and, uh, went to look for it, 
I found it on the shelf exactly where I put it like a year and a half ago before I really heavily got into model trains and uh, yeah so I got it wired up for DCC I got one of these uh, there we go one of these nine pin plugs on it um, recently whenever I've been doing a DCC project that doesn't already have a socket or uh, doesn't have a DC board I can swap for like an NCE uh, DASR which is basically just a Dakota replacement board um, if it doesn't have an 8 pin or it can't just be uh, replaced with a Dakota board I have recently been putting these 9 pin plugs on them <clears throat> uh, just so that you know I could put you know any nine pin decoder on there essentially could do tcs could do nce um and all that recently i've still been doing the nce d13s uh i haven't had one go bad on me uh for reasons that i had not caused <laughs> i did burn one out but that was 1000 percent my fault um i've never had a d13 die on me um easy to program so i'm just gonna keep using them for these projects and like they're 20 bucks if i get one that comes with one of these connectors and all that um so yeah not super expensive um decent decoders overall not the greatest things by any means but they got four functions um so yeah and I like the, these models because the fans. Look at that. The fan moves. And the uh, grate on the shell. Again, I don't have the shell with me right now. But the grate on the shell is see-through. So you can actually see the fan spinning when the model's running. Um, but yeah. Super excited to get uh, a decoder into this thing. Should be getting here Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. And uh, yeah. That's all I got for this update. At some point, I should really do a roster video because I got, excuse me, I got like 20 some locomotives now with DCC installed and all that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, slowly getting better at installing decoders and all that. And um, yeah, I'm just, just wanted to share this stuff with y'all. So, uh, Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one, and I hope that y'all have the re a, a good rest of your day and or night. See you later.